who is Kendra Johnson? Complicated question, and I think it depends on what I'm doing at that particular time. The first thing I would say is I'm, I am a mentor. I love my students. And so in any way that I can, I try to sort of be there for them, whether it's for outside issues or class issues. So mentor first. Um, then I would say educator, because I love academia and I love learning. And so I would say educator, I love to teach. Um, colleague, um, I am in the theater, so it's very collaborative. So I have to know how to get along with other people. Uh, I am an artist, and I'll say I'm a theater artist. And being a theater artist, I would say that means I am a storyteller. I am a single mom raising a beautiful daughter who's in college, and so um, the fact that she's that age with the kids I'm working with is really cool. My current role is associate professor in the Department of Performing Arts. Um, I am the costume designer, as well as the professor of the African American Theater courses. I have been teaching here since the year 2003. I am now on my 14th year. Diversity in the arts, particular theater, um, I would say is very lacking, obviously. Um, even growing up doing my training. So I was the only one, only black person or person of color in my theater program as an undergraduate. I was the only one um, in my program in graduate school. Um, I am usually the only person of color in any area that I do. I, I am also a professional costume designer, which means I go out and I design and get paid to do so for a living. I am usually the only person of color most times, unless there is an actor or an actress, but I am behind the scenes, and so the, the um, diversity there is lacking even more so. Like I can probably name just two or three other African American or person of color costume designers or set designers. If I asked anyone, name me a black person of, or a person of color in, as a director, designer, you probably couldn't name them. It does weigh on me, I think, because it's very hard to see yourself represented. So even though I've been doing this for over 20 years, I can count on my hands the times I've done an African American show. So oftentimes I'm telling, I'm a storyteller, but I'm telling other people's story. I'm not telling my story. And I think over the years, it sort of drains on you. Um, in our department, once again, I'm the only person of color in theater. Um, I have other colleagues of different races and ethnicities, but I'm the only person, black person in my department. Um, I'm the only black professor that students see in my department, and so that brings a lot of other issues. Um, I also teach African American theater classes here, one and two, and my classes are usually more, it's half and half sometimes, and so how do I get people who are not African American to sort of understand the stories, and how do I get them to feel free to speak and give their opinion um, when it may not seem as though others want to hear it or that they may be ignorant of and they, they slip up and say something and how do I make them feel like it's a safe space. Um, also too, how do I get more students involved? I find that we have many, 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 many theater minors, but for some reason they never appear on stage or behind the scenes. Um, right now currently we have just two people of color, period, but in particular African American and our theater program, the two actors. And I'm constantly thinking about them, um, making sure that for one, because they're such, they're just two in a big group, how are they feeling? Are they feeling included? Are we telling their stories? Are we giving them opportunities for them to sort of hone their craft while they're here? And are we preparing them for life after here? Because, I mean, are they doing pieces from August Wilson? Or are they doing pieces from Lorraine Hansberry? Things that they should know. Are we giving them that too, as well as the classics? And because our department is so small, it's, it's hard to sort of make it all work. 
and I, but I do bring it up during our meetings all the time. And how do we then also, how do we get more students here? So the first one I would say is the show that sort of changed my life in undergrad was, um, I went to James Madison as an undergraduate and I was the only one. But we did have um, a strong group of African-American actors who weren't majors, but were, who liked theater. And so we formed our own black theater group. And we would do shows like Fences. But what they did was they did The Dutchman. It's a two-person scene. It is um, a white bohemian female actor and a male actor are on a subway car. And the events that happened with those two in 1965, I believe, and the tension in that room, in that theater, and the theater was predominantly the audience African American. I think like 100 percent, and the only white person was that one actor. And just what they went through as two actors telling the story, that the whole audience was breathing as one. And he gave this great monologue, and it was so tense. And he sort of evoked and, and said everything that we wanted to say as African Americans to the predominant culture of this university that we all at the end went. <sighs> so I want to do Dutch because I love that play. Um, also, too, it'll make people think about what it means to be black and who are you to define me. So that's one. Um, there are so, so many new plays. Um, my students are now reading a play um, called um, The Ten Minute Plays um, Trayvon, Race, and Privilege. Um, I like to see, I want to see plays that are current, that the students can really talk about, that they deal with, so that's one. Um, I just got one that's called um, Hands Up, Don't Shoot, that I want to do. So I guess, I think more um, contemporary plays that deal with issues today. On the education side, what I like about designing is designing with the students and seeing them get it. Um, my favorite story is having a, a student walk into my technical class, which is basically how to sew. And he's just, you know, he's, he sewed in the past and yada, yada, yada. And then I noticed within week two of the class, he's good. He's really good. And then sort of taking him under my wing and sort of exposing him to theater because most people don't know that we're out here. Most people don't think about costume design, set design, light design as actual careers that you can do well in. And so the minute that he realized I'm good at this and it took off, to me is the favorite part, is being his mentor. Sort of like watching him find his way and watching him like fly. So he went to grad school, he's worked on Broadway, he's doing pretty well. So that's the part I like about working with students, to see them take off, that's pretty awesome. Um, for me, working as, in a professional setting, I like the collaborative aspect of working with the artists. So it's, it's just thrilling to see so many talented people, set, costumes, lights, director, come together and, sort of, and you're thrown together for a couple weeks and you're trying to create this world for the audience and to see how different designers sort of bounce ideas off one another and have the director come in there too who has a, who has a great vision is probably my favorite part. My lasting legacy as an educator and designer, I guess I would hope my students or people who see shows walk away with the um, impression or feeling that theater is powerful and that storytelling serves many purposes. And um, I love it when I have a student who graduated years ago will call me, oh, I read a play, oh, I saw this, and how theater can impact your life, whether it's not just musicals, whether or not you are a constant theater goer or sometimes it's the one that happens to see a show, is that theater is powerful and the arts are important, is what I hope my lasting legacy will be with my students and those who see the shows, actually. Now here's the tricky part, my legacy as a designer, because usually if my job is done really well, you don't remember me. So if you, if you think about movies you see where it's modern dress, if I asked you, what was the lead character wearing? You know, you, maybe you couldn't tell me, but you, it fit the character. So um, probably my lasting legacy, you wouldn't know.
because I'm like that quiet person behind the scenes who helps tell the story. So if I'm doing my job, unless the show requires that you notice the costumes, you shouldn't notice me. So my legacy would be, did I just help tell the story? And I told it well. <laughs>